any if any person is trying to uh, purchase a product he has to plan hi guys uh, it's 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 a uh, it's it's somewhat a long time since we have made the last video fine anyway nice to be back to share something with you right uh, so today we discuss uh, value as we know uh, the monetary value of any product is called as a price right so apart from that value has some other uh, meaning also so i'll i'll i'm just i'm giving you a small question value is as decided by the customer or value is as claimed by the producer for any product or service uh it's a it's, it's a question right so it has many answers many perspectives uh, and many explanations as well right but uh, since the customer is the most important person we can say value ultimately is decided by the customer of course value has to be claimed by the producer but uh, let's come to the seller or producer later first uh, just we discuss uh, how the value is uh, rather established or estimated by uh, the consumer so any consumer or customer when he purchases a particular product or service he tries to compare the benefits that he is receiving through the product with the cost that he has incurred cost means both emotional as well as uh, monetary cost emotional what is meant by emotional cost suppose say any if any person is trying to uh, purchase a product he has to plan plan in the mind that means where he has to purchase how much amount he has to incur while purchasing and uh, uh, the, at at what time uh, he has to purchase and what brand he has to purchase all these things i mean they are emotional and logical as well <clears throat> because with the reserves with the funds that a, that a person has uh, he has to plan everything where he has to purchase and how much for how much he has to purchase right so these are all the costs that a person is incurring uh, while purchasing a particular product next while after purchasing the product the benefits that means customer will establish uh, some expectations about a product before purchase so after purchasing the product if all those expectations are met by the product performance then we can say the customer considers that uh, the product is valuable otherwise of course value leads to customer satisfaction they, they, this is a this is a logical sequence so unless and until the product delivers the performance or the expectations uh, that are uh, uh, for the for the customer the customer won't say that that is a valuable product so value is ultimately decided by the customer right coming to the first point so that means value will not be claimed by the producer of course value has to be claimed by the producer so because if a producer can i mean that's a funny funny question or rather funny debate because if a customer can't claim that his product is valuable product how can he basically introduce it into the market right so depending upon the cost depending upon the quality or depending upon the design and features that a particular seller is uh, incorporating in his product or service he will claim that his product is valuable product related to the price that is he is quoting uh, suppose say uh, suppose you can ask me sir uh, in the market you have many types of products like uh, low quality products high quality products and uh, medium quality goods, products goods. right uh, so even a low product is low product uh, uh, rather low quality product is also valuable when it is lowly priced and it has a different customer base right that is how value is judged so ultimately value is decided by the customer but a producer has to claim that my product is valuable for so and so customer base yes. for so and so customer. customer base so that's how value is compared that's how value is understood thank you thank you